Uh, there was a time when for Indians, it was an aspiration to own a car. And you change that aspiration uh, at a level where now people are more open to you know, booking a ride than owning a car. So when you design a product, when you build a product, how do you go about building a product where you're essentially changing the aspiration for an entire set of people, you know, aspiring them towards a completely different thing? How do you do that? You know, this is actually a, a cultural phenomenon is what I would say. Uh, and it's a phenomenon which is driven by the youth that people don't want to own as much as they want to experience, right? Uh, even till date, me and my wife, we don't own a single car. Uh, we use Ola every day. Uh, uh, she uses Ola Auto more than the car. I use the car more. Uh, but, you know, the, the youth, uh, the youth increasingly wants to experience things, be it owning a house, be it owning a vehicle. People are delaying these things. And uh, it's, it's not about uh, only changing a certain behavior, but this is a very macro cultural trend that is world over, not just in India, world over. But when you are trying to build into this trend, it's very important that your product has a great experience. It has a clear value proposition for the consumer that instead of owning an asset which is standing idle for 95% of the time, he can make the functional utilitarian uh, need wherever he wants and it's a good experience. It should be a good, clean, quality experience for the consumer. If you can deliver that consistently whenever the consumer wants, he will change his, his or her behavior. Thank you. Next question will go to Nagesh, please. Thank you. Uh, Babish, uh, congratulations. Uh, there were several questions from the table. I'll just bring it down to one. Uh, what's next uh, in terms of either your global ambitions or even in terms of your last mile, two-wheeler, three-wheeler? You've made a dent already in three-wheeler. Clean energy, mobility, which obviously reduces the costs and more profits to you. So what's next? Which is, uh, where are your priorities? So our mission is to build mobility for a billion people. And we want to build mobility. And we say build mobility because it's not just about changing something. It's about creating. You know, most Indians don't have uh, proper modes of commuting. If you look at our larger cities, there are so few buses for the population. And bus mein, we are all stuck, uh, like, you know, we're packed like crazy into the same bus. I used to travel by bus when I was a college student in IIT Bombay. So, there are no large-scale proper modes of um, uh, moving around. The, pro the problem of pollution that we face in our cities is also linked largely to transport. You know, the problem of job creation, I believe a large-scale mobility solution can help in that also. So if uh, we can do our bit as an organization in making uh, clean uh, transport solutions possible across the country, make India a global leader in that domain, if we, today we have a million drivers, if we can take that to 10 million over the next few years, create so many livelihood opportunities, I wouldn't call them jobs because we don't employ them. They're all entrepreneurs in their own rights, right? If we can create so many livelihood opportunities, and if the average uh, citizen of the country has a choice of different uh, economical, comfortable uh, commute options or travel options, that's the uh, direction in which we want to work, and there's a long journey. There's no, I can't see the end in sight anytime soon. <laughs> 